everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Taurus for October. I'm using the, the uh, Gilded um, Tarot deck this month and I'm going to let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. All right, so what I do is I shuffle till one card falls out at a time. All right, uh, if you're new to my channel, um, I am called... I'm what's called a clairsentient, so I feel what other people feel. The way I do my readings is I can feel other people's emotions and feelings. So if you want to purchase a private reading from me, then that's what I would do is I would pick up on the other person's emotions. I would pick on your pick up on your emotions, and that's how readings are done along with the tarot tarot cards. All right, these are just a reminder. It's just a general reading. So, um, uh. It's, it's a general reading, so it's not going to, um, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's not going to resonate with everybody in, uh, in who subscribes to me. I can't like, I can't even concentrate. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right. So because it's a general reading, it's not going to resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always get a private reading from me. I usually get back to you within 24 hours and within 48 hours I will have a reading to you okay I uh, I would say my readings are about 90% accurate when it comes to reading people it's like I pick up their emotions and it's very easy to do it's something that comes naturally to me okay all right Taurus for the month of October and a card fell down on the ground I'm going to take that card because the ones that fall on the ground are very important. Those are clarity cards. So these are all clarity cards and jumpers. Okay. All right. What are the messages for Taurus for the month of October? Taurus, month of October. And I appreciate all of you guys watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. I always like uh, good conversations. I always, I, you know, and I don't mind somebody challenging me. I have no problem with people challenging me on the reading, asking questions, you know, whatever the case is. All right, what are the messages? Taurus for April, Taurus for April, Taurus for April, Taurus for April, Taurus for April. And, you know, it could, this could be male or female. So because it is a general reading. Taurus for April. Taurus for the month of... Did I say April? Taurus for October. I hope I didn't say April. Taurus for the month of October. Messages for Taurus for the month of October. Messages for Taurus for the month of October. Taurus, month of October. Taurus for the 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 month of October. Okay, last one fell out there. I'm going to try and get this all in here so you guys can see it. All right. So the very first card we have here um, is the devil card. This, this card here represents the relationship. Okay. So with this card, um, it shows this, something is overtaking you guys. All right. This is about compulsion. It could be about addictions, greed. Um, so this relationship is overtaking your life, either yours or the other person's. It's about obsessing about something, okay? Uh, so it could be you, the other person, or both of you guys together, all right? Okay, so that's the card that represents the relationship, all right? Next, we have the death card, and this card represents uh, what they are thinking. So what's going on in their mind? It's a transition. Death card is about big changes, it's about endings, it's rebirth, it's letting go and moving on. The way I look at this card is this person is, their, their thoughts are changing 
when it comes to this relationship for the month of October. Now, these are good changes. This is, I always describe it like uh, um, a cocoon turning into a butterfly. Okay, so there's some changes going on here. And once it turns into the butterfly, it cannot go back to the cocoon. So these are, there's growth here going on in this person's mind. Okay, all right. Now we have the seven of swords is what it's going on in your mind. The seven of swords is about, it could be betrayal, dishonesty, running away, divorce, affair. Are you thinking about having a divorce or affair or being dishonest? with somebody. All right. This card is thinking is, is saying that you could be contemplating either cheating yourself or cheating somebody else in some way that those thoughts are going through your mind for the month of October. Okay. All right. Next we have the judgment card and this card signifies, uh, them and their, in their emotions and their feelings. Okay. And the judgment is about uh, this person is being called to do something and they may not want to hear it and they're just drowning it out. Okay. So, and they're afraid of it. So this person, these changes that are going on could be afraid emotionally of the, they, they feel like they're compelled to do something, but they're scared of it. And it's about having courage to go through this relationship with you perhaps. All right. But there's, because there's changes going on in the, this person's mind for sure. All right. And uh, they need to really listen and uh, listen to their calling. All right. And uh, face it with courage and they will have more of a fulfilling life. Okay. All right. Then we have the six of cups and in your emotions and feelings, this person you're playing well with. All right. The six of cups is about friendship, a nice friendship. Six of cups uh, is, uh, let me just go to the book because I've got a really good book here and I just want to get the full meaning. It's about memories. And it says here, you find yourself faced with a memory. Consider it carefully as memories can be tricky things altered by time and distance and even current desires. Make sure that whatever role it plays in shaping your current actions in bal is balanced by logic and reality. What are you remembering? Are you remembering things from the past and wishing they were the way they are today? All right. So it says it's, it's memories can be tricky. What do you remember? Only the good stuff, only the bad stuff, that kind of a thing. Okay. So this person is wanting to make changes, a little bit scared, and this could be you deceiving somebody or yourself. Are you deceiving yourself with your memories? Okay. All right. Then how they represent themselves on the outside. We have the Queen of Cups. And so this could be the Queen of Cups is about uh, someone who's nurturing, healing, supportive. Are they trying to be nurturing, healing, and supportive towards you? And then here's you, the queen of swords. This is a truth telling person. These are usually Libras, um, Geminis or Aquarians, but you are a Taurus. So this, here we have two different personalities. This person wants to nurture. You want to just with a knife, cut straight to the, to the truth. Okay. And tell the truth this month. All right. This person wants to nurture. You want to tell the truth. All right. So this person is going through some changes here. Someone is having a hard time with it, just overwhelming them, maybe thinking a little too much about the situation, but you're, you could be deceiving yourself about something here, whether it's this relationship or another relationship, but you're remembering only perhaps the good things or maybe only remembering the bad things. All right. But you, you need to, this is about you telling the truth. Perhaps you need to tell the truth here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages for Taurus for October? Taurus for October. Taurus for October. Okay. Put these back because there's two. 
Taurus for October. Taurus for October. Taurus for October. All right, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay. All right. So that is the reading for you Tauruses out there. Again, if you'd like to get a private reading from me, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. I will get back to you within 24 hours. Usually it's only within a few hours and have a reading out to you within 48. All right. I thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, and I really hope all of you Tauruses have a wonderful month of October. Okay. Bye-bye.